Bill O'Reilly here, and I'm warming up. Stand by for the O'Reilly Update Morning Edition. But first. If you are a timeshare owner, you're probably upset that your yearly dues continue to increase. Lone Star Transfer guarantees the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and done in a specific time frame. They're the only company you can trust, having helped more than 18,000 owners legally and permanently get out. So please call Lone Star Transfer, 855-551-7066, or visit LoneStarTransfer.com. On this Wednesday, as many of you know, I was at the Super Bowl, and Carrie Lake, who was recently defeated for the Arizona governor's job, attended as well. But she did not stand for the song, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Written in 1900 by NAACP Chief James Weldon Johnson, the song is considered by some to be the Black National Anthem, but it has not been designated that. It's just a song. Cheryl Lee Ralph performed it about 25 minutes before kickoff, and I did stand. Most in the crowd were also up, but not all. There is no protocol to stand during the song. It's an individual decision, just like America the Beautiful, which was sung after Miss Ralph left the field. Carrie Lake and some other conservatives believe there should be only one national anthem and that the Lift Up song is divisive. They are, of course, entitled to that opinion and should not be defamed as racist as some progressives are doing. The usual vicious stuff is smeared all over the net. I see it this way. 70% of NFL players are African-American, so the song is a signal of respect for them. Easy one for me. Respect, empathy, and context are important in a civil society. Ten minutes before the game started, country singer Chris Stapleton sang a terrific rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Everyone in the stadium stood. Respect for the country was on display. An important moment in a divided nation. Back after this. No question, there is a concerted effort to intimidate and silence conservative thinkers and replace our God-given individual liberty with big government controls. AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, is the leading conservative advocacy and benefits organization in America. AMAC gives you access to exclusive benefits and all kinds of great content. Please stand with AMAC at amac.us. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S. That is the morning O'Reilly update. More analysis later on.